Hey, welcome back. So I wanted to give my bottom line on this game after trying it out like I did. Um, I logged out full of air. I guess we got a storm coming in. I want to watch it come in. Um, so I was full of air. As you can see, my components are missing. Uh, my repair I did with the power line there is gone. Uh, any extra boxes, anything I've done, upgrades, uh, is gone. Because I hit continue, so I'm I'm still here. I didn't have to go all the way to, and do the beginning part again. I don't think. Um, but I I logged out with full air, and then as soon as I logged in, I was out of air and went holy crap, and and, and couldn't even make it to that thing before I died and killed over and died. So I'm not sure how you're using air when you're not online, but yeah, there you go. So I'm a little disappointed at that. So that means I would have to you know do everything again it, now. <clears throat> that irked me. So I'm probably not going to continue to play this. Look at the damage on my uh, right there on the back, too. It's all back. Um, I'm not going to continue to play it, but I want to give you my feedback on it. I like it. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I would play it. I would have played it for a, long, a while. Um, you know, they kind of have that little trick where they don't have good storage yet. And they're working on it. This is early release and all that. So I mean, that's what I'm giving the early release feedback. So... I like the way they kind of fix that where when you log off, everything in your vehicle becomes stored in containers. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. That was a little way to get around any of that. And we could utilize it by putting everything in our truck when we log out. So that was a pretty good little workaround. Um, what else? Was, I think everything else was working pretty good. Oh, and the way it takes you forever to get the oxygen thing made. Because uh, I was missing one component on it. What was it again? Was it carbon? Yeah, there was probably carbon or something. I, and that wasn't even... It said I had it done. So, except for the carbon. And I'm not sure... Maybe they meant to hook the power up, but I couldn't hook the power. It never finished. So, I don't know what's going on with that. That was a little bit buggy as far as I'm concerned. But they do have the oxygen that keeps refilling every time you come back on. And these. So, these are always refilling every time you come back on after log back on. Um, and let's see around the side of the building here. Do we have those other two oxygen still over here? If we're back to the bare bones, I want to see if they're still over here. Oh, okay. So these were not... Wait a minute. These were not... Okay, yeah, that's not a white container. So the ones that come out of your truck are white. These, This is an actual one. So, okay. So at least they give you... Uh, these weren't from anything. These just happened. Okay, so you can see I'm running out of air. Warning, dust... So I'm approaching. I kind of wanted to see it come in because, man, they're amazing looking. But, yeah, look at this. I haven't even investigated anything. I want to drive up over that. I want to go everywhere, man. But I can't see going on playing it at this point. Um, they're going to have an update here pretty soon, probably. Is that a cave over there? I don't even know. But, yeah, so it's interesting. And I like the way the, the third-person view and then when you're building your... Um, so it's reminiscent for a few games. It's almost like Osiris for me. I don't like, let's say, what was the third person view? Yeah, see, it's just like when you turn, it's just too quick. It's not fluid. Your guy, I mean, I like third person view every now and again, but it just seems a little bit, maybe that's accurate. I don't know. Nah, it's just too jerky, herky. But you don't have to play it like that. I'm a first person guy mostly anyway, but I really liked a few of these. I like this where you can oversee, before I die, I just want to cover this. You know, shift and, and uh, left click, drag around. Changes that. You can zoom in and out. So it's pretty cool. And um, let's see, panning. What was the... Okay, you can circle. I thought I could pan around yesterday. Can't seem to figure out. Yeah, so it's just basically trial and error, really. But you can zoom out pretty good. I mean, there's not... I, I know I can move it. I moved it yesterday. It isn't control... Is it Alt? No, nah, it's not Alt. Um, shift Alt? No. I thought I was able to do it just left and right, not just circle around like this. But either way, it's pretty neat when you're building your components here and it's 3D printer around it and all that. And I like the way you can take your resources directly from the truck and put it into it. You don't have to carry it all. That's pretty cute. Look at the damage. So I like it. I, I like it. And where's that storm at they keep talking about? Is that it right there starting to come in? Eh, I don't know. How do I get out of this window again? Oh, yeah, you got to do this. Oh, can I hit escape? 
Yes, you can hit escape. And in soup management, uh, I haven't took a lot of look at this, but it has a tech tree. Most things have tech trees, like the vehicles. I kind of like that. The way you can upgrade that. And evidently, you can get different vehicles over here. So these are just some things like buy. So you can buy upgraded vehicles and stuff. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I want to get into that and, and color this girl's hair. That looks a little weird. Anyway, that's just me. I, I'm bugged out about it. Uh, the weapons, they end up back here after restart. This thing was pretty cool. The way crafting, I was able to craft, um, what was it, an emergency water bag or something? Because I was like dying of thirst. Uh, there are some around, so you got an empty one. You got empty ones here, and then you had to ha go in the box and bring some parts in it. I'm not going to go through all the details, but it's pretty neat. And it, what the hell? I think the storm's here. There it is. Wow. Advice. The suit shielding is unable to tolerate oh. the storm. Oh, all right. Thank you. Um, and they can't ac access this. But, yeah, so there you go. Okay, so I'm, I would have died out there anyway. So, there you go. I just wanted to kind of give some closure to this. Like, I won't be... You know me. I don't like losing everything. Especially when I was full of air. When I logged out right here. And when I came in, it was flashing red. You're going to die. And I barely got to right here. And I died. So, I'm like, oh, wow. That's uh, not cool, really. And then you lose everything. So I don't know if I would recommend... I would say wait, really. Ooh, what's that about? How do you get up there? I want to get up there. Open the door! I want to... Yeah, I don't know if I would at this point recommend you getting it unless you want to experience just the interface and go and check and stuff out. I mean, I know I didn't cover everything. I like the way... Is, this, is it still there? Oh, whoa, look at that! Wow! Holy Hannah Stan! Look at that! That's pretty good. Can you imagine seeing that rolling towards you? Like, I should have been looking that way. That is pretty amazing. Pretty freaking amazing. Really. But also, this little interface on the truck up upgrader. Wow, I can't get it. It's like a tidal wave. Can you imagine a tidal wave coming at you like that? You'd be like, <gasps> how do I kiss my ass goodbye? And I like the way the tech tree in here worked. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I I can research. Upgrade now. So theoretically... Okay, so I, I don't know. I, I'm sure the hell didn't get my... Um, yeah, insufficient. So there, you got the backhoe. So it's pretty cool. And that helps out a lot. And then you want to upgrade your storage. Wow, that thing just takes forever to move out, doesn't it? I don't know. And I like the way you can scan. And it tells you where crates are at. Now... Like I said, the only way to bring that stuff back is to take your truck out, load it up, come back here, log out, and then you got the crate here. It's amazing. I wonder if all the stuff went back to the old crates. I just don't know. God, that was a hell of a storm, man. But yeah, there you go, man. Uh, thanks for checking it out with me. Appreciate it. And after the next uh, update, I'll probably check it out again because, you know, if you multiple saves, that way I could go back to one would be cool. I didn't see that. And I want to check out the geysers. There's got to be a way to put a, uh, some kind of oil rig on that. Not an oil rig, but, you know, something on it to collect that. That'd be amazing. Yeah, buddy. It's probably the carbon I need for crying out loud. Anyway, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Later.